how ATM machines work. When you need money, you can stop at an ATM, enter a pin and leave with cash. How do these wonder machines that give you money and the network that approves the, the transactions work? When you need money, you can stop at ATM. When you insert your card into the card reader, it responds to the prompt on the screen and within a minute you walk away with your money and the receipt, assuming you have a bank account and a valid ATM card. ATM, Automatic Teller Machine, is a banking terminal that accepts, deposits and dispenses cash. ATMs are activated by inserting cash. In cases of ATM depositing or debit credit card that contains the user's account number and PIN on a magnetic stripe for cash withdrawals. In Rwanda, the ATM machine solve just one purpose to dispense cash to the ATM card holders. In reality, the ATM is just an extension of the bank. Request the bank's computer to verify the balance and the authenticity, genuineness of the card, peers, password or PIN entered, dispenses the cash and then transmits a completed transaction notice. The word machine in the term ATM machine is certainly redundant but widely used. Come to think of it, the ATM terminal is a sort of remote computer with a safe cash box attached to it. This serves as another bank branch. Though some of you think that the ATM is an unattended device, you might be surprised to find that the other side of the ATM, the hidden inside has people constantly rendering services, services to the clients. Many of them are monitored online to make sure that the money does not run out. They don't get tempered with the network is online. The ATM is made of the CPU microprocessor. It is that carries out the processing roles like authentication, networking, validation of currency nodes, etc. This is the principal component, the VDU, display, visual display unit compresses of the screen and the keyboard. This acts as the interface with the client. It is this that keeps any feedback that is utilized by the clients. In addition to this, there is a receipt printer that produces hard copies of all the transactions that have been affected. This helps the user to have proof of their transactions. This is just like the one gets after a banking transaction. In addition, this interface has the card reader as well as the money dispensing slots. The dispenser is connected to the currency box by rovers rollers that move one banknote currency unit at a time from a currency box. It holds about 2000 nodes to the dispenser area. A sensor determines if two or more bills are stocked together or if the wrong Denomination was pulled and causes them to be inserted into the rejected box. In the case of Rwanda, most ATMs are loaded with two demonition of notice notes. These are the 5000 and 1000. I think this is to reduce the likelihood of dispensing wrong currency notes. In the majority of cases, the ATMs use debit cards as opposed to credit cards. Debit cards are issued to account holders that have a debit or positive balance on their accounts with their respective banks. Credit cards are issued by financial institutions granting credit facilities to their holders. In actual sense, the credit card holders are busy spending money that is not theirs. They are actually borrowing from the credit card issuing institutions. I suppose it is for the above reason that most of the ATMs are designed for the debit cards in a bid to reduce the likelihood of people overdrawing their credit balances. There is a confusion between the banker's definition of credit and that of the accountants. 
to bankers when you receive a credit balance your account is healthy because you are the banker bank's creditor and vice versa it to the accountant the reverse is true when you when a bank issues you with a credit card they become your creditor as compared to the debit card that is paid to you account balance thanks for watching this video